Hello everybody, you're watching Good Vibes Julie and I'm Julie and today I would like to walk you through the passion test. So stay with me and I'll be back in a few seconds. So the passion test is a very simple process that has been developed by Chris and Janet Atwood and why I would like to um, go through it today with you is because um, I've mentioned many times um, and I mentioned it a lot to the people I coach, to the people I work with, that <clears throat> one of the uh, key performance indicator for your life, one of the major component, if not the most important component that you have to think about when you think about your life and what you want to create out of your life is really happiness, joy, passion. It's something that really truly fulfills you uh, inside your heart. This is very important in order to feel uh, more harmony, to feel more uh, balance, to feel happy and um, to find a, a higher sense, a higher meaning to our lives. It's truly when we feel happy and something that makes me happy will be different uh, from something that makes you happy and it's something that's very personal to each and every person. That's one of the reasons why also I always advise the people I coach that um, please avoid comparing yourself to others. If this is working for him, it doesn't mean it works for you and something that works even for your parents or your sister doesn't have to work for you. Uh, anything related to passion, to something that really fulfills you, to something that makes you happy, um, it has nothing to do with DNA, it has nothing to do with uh, where, where you were born or who are your parents or it could be, it could be that your parents gave you their passion but it could be also that you were just uh, born different and all your experiences and all your um, your the situation you've experienced over the years have developed different passion different things that you love in your life and this is what you have to go for when you think about your life because this is what's really going to make you happy and fulfilled so that's the reason why i would like to uh, walk you through this passion test it's a very simple uh, test uh, i would like to invite you to take a piece of paper right now and to write um, the numbers 1 to 15, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 15. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is that um, for each of these 15 lines, so we're going to write a statement, and the statement goes like this. My life is ideal when, and then it, a verb has to follow, okay? So my life is ideal when I... I'm coaching people. My life is ideal when I am going um, to a dance class. My life is ideal when I... And then you complete it with a verb. So I want from you 15 verbs of action, of things that you really enjoy doing, um, that you're passionate about, something that really moves your feeling, that when you do it, you really feel joy and happiness. So the first four or five statements may be uh, very easy because it's a top of mind uh, thought and then it just comes naturally. For the next 10 ones, you may feel it a little bit more difficult and you may be tempted to stop at seven or eight. Please go through the 15 lines. Force yourself, even if it takes you like a couple of days, you know, to go back to this paper and be like, oh my God, I'm missing two. Um, just complete the 15 because it really um, <clears throat> invites you to think outside of the box, to think about past experiences that brought you a lot of joy and that you have forgotten. Things that you used to do when you were like a teenager or a child and you've forgotten about it because, you know, life moves on, you grow up, you do different things and then um, you just forget about these things that used to bring you a lot of joys, joy. You haven't done it for a long time, but still, it's something that has the potential to bring you a lot of, of happiness. So my invitation right now is really to fill in these 15 blank lines. Um, my life is ideal when I, and then fill it in with a verb of action, something that you actually uh, enjoy doing, that when your life is ideal, you spend most of your time doing these things. So you go through the 15 lines, and once this is done, out of these 15 lines, we need to pick up 
the five lines that makes the most sense to you that are the most important ones how to do that we're going to take the first statement and the second one and you compare them which one is the strongest one for me which one is the most powerful for me which one is closest to my real ideal um, life so in order to do so something that can really help uh, if you if you are really unsure which one is the most important to you you can uh, grade them on on a, on a percentage on a hundred percent out of hundred percent how ideal the, the the accomplishment of this sentence fulfills you out of hundred and you will see that it's gonna really help because if one of them is like 96 percent the other one may be 94 and then and then this two percent really makes the difference from zero to ten is a little bit more difficult because you'll be like okay it's eight out of ten and the second statement is also eight out of ten and then you're stuck when you work on a hundred percent scale um, this is going to add more nuances and you are more able to decide which one from statement one and statement two is the most important to you so um, once you've decided between statement one and two which one is the most important you remove the one that that's the less and then you compare the statements that remaining with the statement number three and then you choose between these two and then you do the same with number four and then you go on and on and on until you have only five statements that remain okay so we, we are getting closer we are narrowing the scope of the things that make you happy and the things that really fulfills you and you will find even that in all of the statements that you've written there is a pattern there is a trend, there is something that really stands out and there is a clue here, if I, if I may say, there is a clue. Um, if, you, if, you've always had, um, if you've always had a passion and you've kind of tried to avoid it, you've kind of tried to be like, no, it's okay, I have my job, I have my thing, um, it's fine, I don't have so much time for this, you will see that in this 15 statement there is a trend that comes out. This is your intuition talking. This is your, uh, your heart that is trying to share with you some message. And this is an invitation to listen to this message. Once you have these five statements, I would like to invite you to write a more um, concrete uh, sentence about it. Some markers, some, some, some numbers, some, some details about this very statement. For example, my life is ideal when I coach people. My life is ideal. I feel really fulfilled when I am able to coach um, 10 people per month and um, they really feel empowered after our coaching session. They come back to me and they say, Julie, thank you. Um, I feel much more empowered and much more confident about my life's purpose, life vision. You just add more details about it. How does it actually look like to do this ideal uh, thing in your life? To, to truly live this ideal vision, how does it actually look like? With some concrete numbers, with some concrete events that you can um, vividly imagine. You can say that you love to coach people, but if you coach 10 per month and their feedback at the end of this coaching is I'm empowered with my life's purpose. So you already know what to work for, what to aim for. You aim at finding 10 clients and all your, um, all your passion, all your power, all your ideas, all your coaching structure is going to be around helping them finding their life purpose. So this is, this is the example for me, but then for you maybe something completely different and I invite you to really look into this. Um, you may have an ideal vision, but it's still difficult for you to put words on it. So take some time uh, today to think about how it actually looks like. How, how does it manifest concretely? In terms of action, in terms of people you need to manifest in your life, in terms of situation, in terms of uh, events, uh, this is all up to you to really describe and to really figure out how does it feel like, how does it look like, 
and then to make it happen. And you will find that this passion test really um, help you to notice the trends, as I was telling you, to notice the pattern, to draw this pattern and to really face it, to be like, you know what, this is what I've always wanted to do. This is what I've always been passionate about and I've been avoiding it for so many years because I stayed in my comfort zone. Now maybe it's the time to find a way, little by little, step by step, to step outside of my comfort zone and to move towards what I truly want, what truly makes me happy. I cannot emphasize this enough. Happiness, fulfillment are truly indicators of um, how balanced, how harmonized your life is. This is something that's very, very important. Most of the time we kind of, um, we, we are kind of living like, oh, I should do this, I should do that. Um, there are plenty, we, we have to-do lists of things that we should be doing, that we have to do. Um, yet we realize that this is a frame that has been built by other people that are external to us and we've, we've been uh, put in that box and we stay in it because it's comfortable. These, uh, these have, uh, this box has rules, it has a structure, it's very well framed and we have the ability to work inside it and then it's totally fine. If you're fully happy in this, it's totally fine and it's perfect. I mean, you are able to blossom in this environment. But if you've always had this intuition, this heart message, this is a small voice talking in, in your mind, telling you that there is something else, that there is something more that you would like to experience, that you would like to go for, uh, something whispering. You know, your intuition always whispers. It's never something that shouts at you. It's, it's something that whispers, you know, month after month after month after month. And then it's up to you to decide whether you want to listen or not to this voice. And one of the ways to let this voice comes out a little bit more clear is to do this passion test and to write it down. You know, when you write down something, it becomes real. Before it was all in your mind and it's something that you just keep on thinking about from time to time, here and there, whenever there is an opportunity to do so. Here, it's written on the paper. You cannot avoid it. You cannot run away from it. It's there. And again, nothing is, um, you know, written in the marble. Things may change over time. After five years, after 10 years, you may discover something new. It doesn't mean that this is going to be like this for the rest of your life. It means that today, right now, with this passion test, there is a trend. We look at it and we say, okay, I need to find a little bit more time in my life to dedicate to these things because I believe these things really makes me happy. And because you've never tried before, because you were in that box, you've never tried before. Maybe when you try after six months, one year, two years, you will realize that it's just not for you. It wasn't what you thought it was. You know what I mean? Um, I've had, I, I have a lot of friends who are really passionate about certain things. Um, for example, dance, but they decided not to do dance, their professional career, because they didn't want dance to become their profession. They didn't want dance to become a should. I should dance to earn my life, you know? So it doesn't mean that you're passionate about something that you're gonna start to earn money out of it because then you become uh, so much dependent on it that you don't want, you want this to remain a passion. So then it's up to you where you want to bring this passion. It could be something that you keep as, um, as a hobby, but you give it a little bit more time on your daily life, weekly life, on your, on, on your timetable, you dedicate a little bit more time to that passion so you are able to feel more balance with the other, um, the other duties that you have. At the end, it's, it's all a choice. Or you could create your career on that very thing and you will be completely uh, fulfilled and you will be blossoming. Again, try it. Until you try, you will never know. So my advice to you, try. Try, go for it, try it, find out the pattern, find out how it looks like, how it manifests physically, and then try it, go for it, and then reassess the situation after six months, reassess the situation after one year, and then you can decide what you wanna do about it. Um, this passion test is really an invitation to write down, to have 
physically some whispers that you have in the mind um, since a very long time and that you never really took the time to listen to. So I hope you find some time today to do that. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Please feel free to share with me your comments. Uh, feel free to share with me your own passions in the comment section below. Um, and meanwhile, I wish you a very beautiful day and I'll see you soon. Thank you.